Good morning. It is day three on the TRT. We are packing up. We got up at five so that we can be on the trail by 630. We'll see how we do. Some cold oatmeal and a breakfast bar. Yeah, when I'm on trail, there's no time for <laughs> We're in the process oh, of packing up. I am going to use my Goal Zero. I'm gonna try to charge my battery, which is at three bars, and see how it goes. All right, that's my setup. 618. I'm basically ready. All right, everybody's packed up. Pollyanna is doing the last bit. Terry's all ready to go. It is 635. Everyone's about ready. I'm going to head down here for the little bit of water. I think we have four or five miles till the next water source, which is Star Lake. Our goal today is to make it to Armstrong Pass. It's about 10 miles. Quite a bit up and at uh, higher elevations than we've been. It's going to be a good test today. Oh, see how everybody does. I have not taken the Diamox. I am feeling good. Terry's not taking hers. Uh, Pollyanna's, she might uh, take it or stop taking it after today. I'm not sure about the uh, Clover. South Dagger Creek. 6.50, here they come. Morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Looks like a little cloud cover today. You can see so far. Marveling at how huge this tree is. Wow. Give you some perspective. Look at that. The big tree! <laughs> One, big two. Tree. Here we go. <laughs> it yeah. is a big tree. We don't have trees like this back then. Three stands behind the trail just 5.5 miles north of the Nevada-California border. So I guess we're going to cross that to in a minute, too. <laughs> so this is uh, designated in far out as the enormous tree. The enormous tree. <laughs> it is, in fact, an enormous, an enormous tree. tree. <laughs> you can hear too, Betty. I will. I will. I'll get one. See the rays. Yep. <laughs> Gotta watch out for some horses. Uh, normally, you don't leave the rock bars behind in the rock. <laughs> so Ashley knew what these were. They use these to split the rocks, but she's. She thinks that this rock was across the trail at one point. She's not sure why they would leave that behind. From Nevada into California. There we go. We're going into... Which way? We're going into California. <laughs> into California. Hike around on the other side and we'll go into Nevada again. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is actually sprinkling just a little bit. And we just heard the wind starting to kick up. So we'll keep an eye on the weather. We are currently at 8,800 feet. Frio Pass is on our path today, and that's more like 9,800 feet. Still has some snow capped mountains over there. I am very glad that we have cloud cover today. It should help a little bit because we are at elevation all day today. We just passed a hiker going the opposite direction. He must have stayed at Star Lake. He said that uh, it rained thunder lightning last night up there and that it's supposed to rain tonight. So it's held off so far. I'm still thankful for the cloud cover today. I think this section along the ridge has been my favorite. You get to see some mountains. It's not a lot of up and down. Very nice. So there's Lake Tahoe in the distance. Yeah, she said we're going to do a little bit. There's another unique tree. All right, I haven't seen the purple. Water source before the climb starts, just so you can get your pack a little heavier. Pretty flowers. There's some purple ones. I get this water source. All right, we are starting our climb up to Star Lake. It's about 1.1 miles away. Probably 500 feet of elevation gain, which isn't too awfully bad, I don't think. 500 feet of elevation gain at these elevations. I'm sure it's gonna feel tough. Leanna's pack is just not sitting right. It is not. I'm <laughs> mad at my pack. <laughs> it's causing her a fit. <sighs> but we're sitting it here. It is a beautiful view. Observing the lake. I can hear water down the hill somewhere. We are getting close to Star Lake, about two tents left. Uh, camp spots on the right as you're coming up to the lake, but they look kind of damp. I wonder if it's a low spot. We are going to Armstrong Pass, Big Meadow, tomorrow to get picked up. Oh, check it out. I'm not going to go through water where there's horse poop all around the water. Oh. <laughs> Pretty. There's more water in a mile. It never fails. Terry finds a rock. How comfortable are you? I am very comfortable. <laughs> it's, it's perfectly slanted. Slanted for ultimate comfort. <laughs> it's time to pack it up. It's, it's my lounging rock. <laughs> I wish I could take it with me uh, <laughs> for every stop. <laughs> we just ran into a hiker that brought my camp shoe. I don't know how that came off. I had it on a carabiner plus lashed. At least I thought I did. Wow. I would have been one short. Oh, they're going swimming. 
star lake looks like there is a horse trail and a hiking trail Sun is coming out. I'm so lucky that we ran into that hiker. He's going the same direction as us. Just made it to Star Lake as we're leaving. He's taking a break, but he had my camp shoe. I still don't know how it came off. I will say you get lots of views of the lake. Our friend Slider, also known as Terry, has accepted a new trail name. It's going to be Sitting Rock. And what's the story behind it? She always finds the perfect rocks to sit on in the shade, to just the perfect height. And then even better for me, when I come up, she stands up and she says, have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and she always finds those ones you can just kind of lay back on like she was doing down at Star Lake. All Looking right, nice. Sitting Rock it is. Thank you. You I accept? Like yes, I accept. All right, it's official, <laughs> Sitting Rock. So much for the sunshine reprieve. We have a full sun now. The good thing is it'll charge my battery that I have. The bad news is it's going to get hot. This is Willow Creek. Our next water source is three miles away and we have to have lunch somewhere at the top. So I might fill up just my drinking water bottle. Filled up a little and now we got a climb. to the junction. Friel Peak. <laughs> we got a little shade. Very little shade. Alright, so Friel is right at the top. It's clouding over again. And it's a cool breeze, so oh, we might get some rain. I love the mountains. A lot of mountain bikers today. Which means you're welcome. We're starting to hear thunder again. This water source is rushing. flowers through here because of the water. We passed a pretty nice water source. We're hoping in point seven, the one that's listed is still running. A few days ago it was. Because if not, we're in trouble because we need to have water before we get to camp. This must 
be our water source. This is our water source for the night. Feels good, doesn't it? Hey, there's lots of anthills, so we'll see how it goes. Hey, this is our tent site for the night. Still getting thunder here and there, so. Ashley up there. Lots of ants around. Pollyanna's setting up over there. Trying to get away from the ants. The wind is picking up. I feel some drops. Here we go. The rain has started. The thunder is going. We might have to eat in our tent. I hope it's just a passenger. 